me in some situation like game two, mm -hmm. where I just mess up an edge guard and I die. Yeah. Or I know he's forcing and I know he's gonna run after me, Tipper, and I still. Yeah. You know. And he does that like seven times, but I'm with such a high percent because I've been losing so much that, you know. So Caesar's back. This is will be interesting, I think. Sway actually for a Peach does quite well in this matchup. He loves it. Yeah. At one point he was a Marth main, so maybe that's part of it. He was. So things that you're going to look for in this matchup, any oh. possibility to get a turn up. Sway does not pull as many turnips as you'll see some of the older Peaches do. No. Oh. <laughs> That's a scary spot there. No. There. Okay. A little high for that. I'm off stage. There. You go. A little combo. He had such a hard start too. These are staying away well. I feel like Sway with the uh, once he gets you on the back foot, he's amazing. Yeah, his, his pressure game's strong. But cornered, he's actually like not very good at dealing with that. Not yet. It's definitely not a strong spot for Peach. Definitely. It, it's spots where you see like the more experienced Peaches just kind of sneak out in these crazy ways. Wow, but that turnip. Why did you just give it to him? Oh, the ledge? Yeah, after that turnip hit, I feel like you should have gotten you have to. You have to get out there and float and like, do something yeah. active. But, you know, it's it's definitely not as easy as Armada makes it look like. Beautiful. Isn't it? So he actually grabs the, the bottom height float. Bottom height float is good for kind of scrapping in this matchup when you're close. But it loses it down tilt. It'll get stuffed by fair. You can or maybe you get can down. Just call out forward smash too. Yeah. Like the meteor, the meteor height in this one is when you get right above where F tilt, where down tilt comes in. Yeah. And you can like throw defensive bears, and you can push them back, and then start throwing turnips. Yes. Oh no. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, that was definitely. Thank you for the auto host. Down throw definitely the combo move. Yeah, I've tried up. A good angle. Yeah, you can snipe with the up throw, but it's not as easy. I don't really like down smash there, but it's such a tempting thing yeah. to put. Yeah, <laughs> because if they're like holding the wrong DI, they can just get ledged. It's like a fast meaty hitbox. You don't yeah. have to. Time. You can cover a lot of time. That's with up B. So here, that That's I like. I like that. I like to see that. We'll see, bro. Yeah. So we were just talking about how Al. Oh, oh! that was awesome. I'm not. I'm trying to watch. Caesar Chris's face and see if was that on purpose. <laughs> it but, didn't move. Yeah, he so, was very intent on either just not really focusing on it or I think it was on purpose. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Turn up city. Yeah, this oh is the situation. God. I don't even know what was going on. Yeah. That's what you're trying to see happen. Ooh, great trade. In our modest Peach Marth guide, he actually points out a lot of oh, oh that did oh, not fine, fine. go right. He was a little bit too low when he dropped the turnip with the Z drop and just ended up in a really bad situation. Yeah. You have to do so much preemptive planning to like pull yourself in the right spot in these edge guards. But I'm I'm talking too much. Go ahead. No, no, that's definitely true. Because you've played Marth Peach, right? Like you've had a Marth. Oh, as Marth. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I don't play Peach. I play the other floater. Because <laughs> I keep talking about the Peach side. What does Marth have to do? Definitely you want to corner them. You want to get in that weird range where you threaten they don't want to pull the turnips. Mm -hmm. And then uh, punish if they pull the turnip or like just keep pushing them back while in that space. You don't want to be too close and you don't want to be on the back foot. <laughs> if you can call out the like floats and everything, that's awesome too. Sorry, that that's very good. No, Steven is muting me while I'm eating the pizza, which is <laughs> which is actually a very good call by Steven. I'm sorry, Steven. Don't that's, apologize. Yeah. But yeah, and it's kind of like where Falco, you want to watch if they're throwing out some stupid turnip pull. Definitely. You know, it's like the Armada analysis was like, watch Makin, he pulled turn up here, it is not good, he get hit. <laughs> very bad. Not very. <laughs> very. I'm sorry, everybody. Don't get hit by that. I mean, I want to come in and slap it, that's the problem. I want to slap every character <laughs> on a peach. And I so rarely get to slap March. You have to like call a down tilt. You have to like fake him out with spacing. Like a high float height, and high float heights are kind of scary. Mm. Mars got a sword, he can <laughs> jump at me. I don't like this at all. Wow, he's, he's trying. That killed there. So, in that situation, do you think Sway should just kind of bit, bit the bullet and said, I have to go high? Oh, he's just tossed away. You're never, you're never okay. I mean, you're always kind of fine with it. I don't this percent, I guess. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. It's like if you got some turnip beat. Cover. Things are okay anyway. That's not a good down smash. 
So he's learning how to do the down smashes. You know, the dishonesty down smashes. Yeah. <laughs> Just do them anyway and they work. So that's reversal Sway was looking for the last time. Um, and it's hard to gauge when you have to like play it a little bit more honestly. As far as what you're supposed to do. Like, I, I like, like this, yeah. I feel like Caesar's just like calling him out with everything. Like, he's not even with punching going on with Sway. He's just like choosing the thing that Sway's gonna do. Yeah, sometimes. Wow, he's dead. Sometimes you see a lot of like verse Peach and Marth where Marth stay really reactive and just try and stay in his own. But it kind of just looks like Chris is just actively trying to call out the float spacing, the approaches, that kind of thing. And he's getting all his DIs on the forward air in the day. It's actually, actually comparatively very few down tilts. Yeah, and, and it's maybe just how much, you know. You know, you know what I've realized? I've never seen Sway dash attack. That's true, and that move is amazing. Under under Marth, and when Marth jumps, a great a great discourager of Marth jumping is you know you stay back a little bit, you wait for the jump, you get into a range where they can't really react, where they've swung, yeah. and you dash attack. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen Chris pretty much just take the air, you know, constantly. Yeah, albeit in like little short hops, but still, like, you get under. He's been neutral airing all the time. So yeah. Like, actually, a surprising amount of neutral airs. But it kind of also interacts very well with Sway's style of yeah. moving in the matchup, and Sway yeah. definitely knows it. <laughs> like, that's, that's the first thing in the matchup, right? Yeah, definitely. So they're probably on a different <laughs> level of, like, interacting. Yeah, I think so too. 